what is going on YouTube? Um, I went to Target. Um, I did not see these on the shelf. Um, I did ask an employee. He was like, hey, um, I know this came out on the first. I was just curious if you guys had any in the back. And he did. He actually found like four of these in the back, I think. So I was pretty stoked to find the uh, rookie Michael Jordan Funko Pop. He's wearing the Jordan 1s, which are really nice. Uh, he's got the old school jersey. What's cool is he's got the NBA logo man on his jersey. Um, it looks like the Bulls logo is on his shorts, which is awesome. So super stoked to find this one. This one was kind of hard to find. I know they got the regular one, which is easy to find, but uh, the exclusive ones are kind of hard to find. So I was super stoked that uh, he was able to find this in the back. I was surprised they still had them in the back. I was surprised no one else asked them if they had them. Because uh, watching other videos, I see people go to Target and they're asking, oh, we're sold out, we're sold out. So uh, I was like, oh, I'm going to ask somebody. Maybe they have some in the back. And got lucky. He had four in the back. And the box is in really good shape. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Um, just figure I'd do a quick vid. Again, I don't know if I've seen other people do unboxings. I've noticed that there's like some blemishes and stuff on the figure. And people are like, well, would this be an exclusive? They should spend uh, more time and more quality on the figure. If it's like a regular, um, like a random, like a common one, then I can kind of understand the blemishes. But if it's an exclusive one, they should uh, make sure that they're better detailed and uh, in better shape. Because... Uh, Kind of looking at this one, I kind of see some blemishes right there, but it's all good though. The main thing is I found one, and I'm pretty stoked. So, as always, let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next vid. Peace.